Mini ball, which is a lot more accurate. What are we doing now? Schoolhouse Ridge. All right, here we go. Yeah, and very heavy too. And only very select. So I'm not sure what sharpshooters looked like in the Confederates. I think they just wore the standard gray uniforms. But for a uh, for the Union, the sharpshooters wore green uniforms. I don't know exactly. Yep, uh-huh. So they had already been, scopes had already, scope weapons had already been around for 20 years by the time the Civil War started. Alright, I gotta look at my options. Key bindings, how do I get my... How do I get my bayonet on? Sprint, toggle, double quick, kneel. Crap, this is gonna bug me. <laughs> Guys, are, people can be very funny in this game. Yeah, they should. That'd be a very interesting concept, actually, Marquis. Options, key bindings. Oh, now I see them. They're all the way over there. They see them now. Oh yeah, how is it, a uh, Marquis? How is Sniper Elite Four? I'm considering getting that game, but I haven't a. Uh... Whoa. And yeah, there is a hint of realism in this game. There it is. I heard that there's a level where you can like kill Hitler and um, assassinate Hitler in a lot of different ways. Is that true, uh, Marquis? Oh Alright, let's continue on. A lot of chatter in this game. I don't see it. Alright, reload. Alright, I'm gonna options. Key bindings. F. Okay, F is to chat. Crap. How do you use your bayonet? B. Okay. Oh yeah, I see him now. Oh jeez, artillery. Oh, it's DLC? You don't have it? Ah. Is it a game worth getting the DLC, Marquis, or are you just not really into it? Crap, I hear him charging. Get my gun ready. Guy got me. Or I lost. Ah, eh, reduced by eight percent. I'm fine with that. Actually, I just finished. I just finished a uh, Resident Evil Village for the fourth time. They announced DLC for that at E3. Don't really care. Ah. Ha 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 ha. That's good enough for you, huh, Marquis? All right. Nothing wrong with that. How much is it at where you live, eh, Marquis? How much is the DLC? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, come on. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. Just gonna deploy here. <laughs> All good, Marky. Do whatever you work works for you. So what game are you gonna play next? Now that you've been that one, eh, Marky? Or are you gonna play it again? This gun, the Mississippi, is the best gun in the game. Here, move back on the mountain, boys. Just hold here for a little bit. I'm trying to find the other regiment. There was a sight of knives. Holy cow. Yeah, they must have really did it. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any artillery? Right. Alright, get my bayonet on. <laughs> Yeah. It is for, I think, this is a uh, New York regiment, and there was a time when a lot of Italians uh, immigrated to America during the Civil War. So, this is, I believe, the 126th in New York, and they were made up of a lot of Italian immigrants. So, that would make sense if that's what this is. Oh. I haven't. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm having a hard time telling where everybody is. Yeah. I, when it comes to Civil War, I know we typically think of, like, Irish immigrants, but there are a lot of Italian immigrants as well. And... If you have to take a, if you're not comfortable taking orders, this is not a game for you. This is a game that t requires a lot of teamwork. And I personally don't like that I'm reloading my gun on top of a hill like this. I honestly can't tell if we're doing much damage from where we're at. Wait, we yep, there's voice chat, Marky. That's correct. There's a lot of voice chat in this game. I don't know. I don't know. For this game doesn't tell you that. <laughs> it's not like we're done. Where if you hit someone, it'll give you a signal that you kill them. This game, I have no idea if I've hit someone. All that matters is if you won or not. I'm just following my commander's orders right now. He's the one with the binoculars and knows if we're doing damage. It's just a matter of following orders. Realism is what this game focuses on. Unless I get close and personal to the enemy, I'm not gonna know. The other side of the fence, okay? All right, our, our commander thinks we did okay there. Yes, exactly, Barky. That's what this game is about, a lava immersion. And a lot of Europeans actually like this game, too. I've seen a lot of mainly... 
mainly British and people from the UK playing this game as well. Check. Check. Wait, are we moving? Oh, we're moving. Yeah, so there's a few different roles in each one of these games. Like the flag bearer. Someone's actually playing as that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? <laughs> and people can throw in their own weird sound effects, too. Oh, hey, M5. Been a while, dude. How you doing? Oh, man. I see them. They're on the other side of the fence over there. Wow, this is a good position. I trust you, brother. We better fire soon. They're, see the red up there? That They're taking the battle position, so we need to take it from them. Looks like what our uh, commanders want to do is they want to try to weaken the enemy and slowly move up. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Uh-oh. I just suffered a casualty right next to me. That's always a good sight, don't you think, boys? Check. Wait, are we marching? Oh, we're moving up. Oh, man, they're going to pick... At this rate, we're going to get picked off before we even get there. Yeah, not a good sign indeed. What I would usually... What I would usually do in this situation, it's all... I'm all for looking for flanks. So I would not do a direct charge like what we're doing right here with the smallest, like, nearly avoiding the f field of fire. Especially in plain sight of the enemy. <laughs> okay, I heard someone say you were trying to get on their far flank. Well, they spotted us. I see their flag moving. Oh, man. Oh, coffee time? Uh, subscribe. <laughs> this is gonna be. Oh, okay, good. We're behind cover now. What? The enemy has taken the field. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. All right, so it looks like we're just putting fire on him now. Sounds like they're charging. I feel like I should be kneeling down, but that takes longer to reload if I do it that way. Alright, I can't see squat. Oh, crap, there they are. They're right over there. Well, hold on, let me reload first, dude. As you can see, there's a lot going on, and I just got shot. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I know, right? Welcome the yeah, that's right, M5. Welcome to the 1800s. In fact, even during the start of World War World War One, people weren't using a uh, helmets till towards the end. Even the U.S. So for for a good portion of the war, the U.S. had a uh, hats. I think a uh, I think it would actually be the French who would start using helmets first. And what by helmets, what I basically mean was. They would take a steel bolt, put it on their heads, and then they'd take the hat and put that over the bolt. So they would still... They had some protection, but they still looked... Decent. Back then, a, uh, if I die, I will die well dressed was still a thing in the military back then. Ah, Alright, I got no choice. I gotta go deploy here.
No, it was the... I believe it was the French that started using a uh, form of helmets first. Could have been the British, though, too. The Americans used the British style of helmets by the end of World War I. And early on in World War II, Battle of the Philippines comes to mind. Alright, I'm reloading. Alright, good news is we're taking it from them now. Okay, that's what I figured. Alright, here we go. Alright. I'm gonna try to join my regiment. Uh, I don't like this, boys. Being a lone soldier is not a good thing. That was stupid of me. I gave myself away. Actually, yeah, you're right. It was the Germans. I'm thinking of the Allies' side. Yes, you're right. It was the Germans. But even then, their helmets were mainly for decoration. So it wouldn't be a, uh... And the Germans would also change their helmets, too, towards the end of World War One. Everybody pretty much adopted some more, you know, protective helmets during World... by the end of World War One. And in World War Two, they changed as well. Yeah, the Stanhelm. Mm-hmm. Funny thing was... A lot of people back then, at least, it's a little bit different now, but back then, when fr helmets first got invented, at least from what I read, and correct me if I'm wrong, they actually wouldn't have the helmet straight strapped to their heads, because if a bullet hit, from what I read, if the bullets hit the head, head, it could actually break their necks from the impact, so a lot of troops would, oh no. Dang it! Ah, crap. I don't know where my line is. So, yeah, apparently, like, it was safer to allow your helmet to get shot shot off back then than, than strap it to your head and take the impact. Okay, let's try this again. I don't even know where my team is. They lost the... F they dropped their flag, so I don't even know where to go. Yep. I don't know if any of you guys caught my stream when I was uh, streaming Call of Duty 2, but if you remember, there was a few times where I shot helmets off the guys and they looked back. There's a lot of truth to those scenes. They would, uh, um... Uh, no, if we're going to pull this off. Ha 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 ha! Autocorrect. Such a nightmare, isn't it? Did that work out at all or no? Where's Ollie at? Yeah, boys up on the Do we have any artillery at all? And just so you know, just so there's no confusion, I'm talking in game into you guys at different times, so don't get confused. I'll address you guys directly when I'm talking to you in the chat. Looks like our officers are debating what to do right now. We lost our flag, so we can't spawn anywhere else. Ah, oh, crap. Not now. I'm reloading, dude. Yeah, get your yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Give me a second. I'm reloading. We're going to do full battalion, but we'll charge in as, like, two columns side by side. So we're not so so All right. Get my bayonet on. This would start to be the standard for modern bayonets.
No, I think M5 is technically right. The Germans were the first to wear helmets. Whether or not they were effective helmets is debatable, but they were, they technically were the first. They were those helmets with the points on them. So I think M5 is right there. But in terms of like making like effective military helmets, I think uh, the French would get the credit for that. But Germans would arguably have the most effective helmets by the end of World War I. All right, so this is where my wrench. You want to spread out 126 on this line? Take A. Spread out. Italians over here. Italians far left. Italians far left. Italians far left. Yep, we're. Over here, boys. Over here. Italians far left. Are they just shooting at us randomly? What are they shooting at? Yes, I think you're right, Marquis. All right, Italians are moving up. All right. Oh, I don't like this. We're doing a headlong charge. I really don't like this. <laughs> hey man, five. I don't know if you can hear right now, but someone is posting that a uh, Union version of Dixie. Someone's singing that right now. I remember you posted it once on Discord. I still like that version. I actually downloaded it. I'm spraying out, and I'm in danger of getting killed here. All right, bait, close combat time. Get him, boys, get him. Get him, boys, get him. All right, got one. Ah, oh, and he got me. Dang it. Melee combat, boys. Huh. The Stalin was 1916. Thanks, Fur. <laughs> this was crazy. Did we get our flag back? Nope. We still don't have our flag back yet. So I gotta just spawn and then catch up. This is one downside. I hate how... Ah! Flag bear killed. So I just gotta do it this way again. Yeah, true for got one at least. And honestly, in this game, that's that's a good thing. They fucking held? No way. Oh, they held. They held? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, gosh dang it. We should just go right and go down. I agree. Let's try flanking them. All right, I'm getting my bayonet on. I give our I give our commanders credit. They're trying. They're really trying, but man, we're just not catching a break here. This is just a recommendation, but I think we should separate rather than try going in one big force. It makes us such an easy target. All right, let's see what they do. Uh, I don't like this. All right, let's hope that hope that paid off. Yep, we lost. Yep, we lost. 
Nope, we're not doing a bonsai right now, Mark 8. We're doing line fire. Oh, wait, are we charging? Oh, crap. Ah, I don't like this. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. Crap, come on. Okay, got once again I got one and then they took me down. Ah Yep, that was a bonsai already, Mark 8. That was a total bonsai. Ah. Well it looks like we took out some friendlies too. Ah! Somebody get the flag. <laughs> yep, one for one for her, thanks. Ugh. I'm kind of our commander's a little bit of slacker because we're fighting on open ground and cover is very limited. So I can't be too hard on them, but this is madness. We need some artillery support is what we need. But nobody wants to take up artillery, and I'm too clueless to know how to do it properly, so... I actually tried it initially, and I was just... A, I was doing it alone, and B, I was just... Completely baffled on what to do. Alright, get the bayonet on. I always get the bayonet on. Uh, I don't even know where the heck everyone is. Look at this! Oh my gosh. Alright, hopefully they held. Alright, I see some of them down there. Alright, reload again. Killed three guys with the bayonet. I only got one. Uh, I don't like what we're doing. Oh, no, the the second company. Nope, they're over there. I see them. I don't know if you can see them. I uh, got troops are on the right there. They're heading towards the fence. I'm. You know what? And then I see, well, it looks like my Italian's moving. The Italian's moving over there on the left. Uh, I might just join the uh, 39th New York. Nope, I see the Italians. There they are. There's that flag. Alright, you gonna go join them? Then we're gonna move up. Fall back to the rocks. Uh, this is not good. We're on the brink of breaking. I don't think we're going to win this. <laughs> Small little glitch. If you look over there, you see my hand's not exactly on the, uh, not exactly on the loader. Alright. The only way I can tell where they're- oh! Oh, I think I got him. I see their flag. Uh, we're at the final push now. Crap. Okay, I know I got the one guy that held their flag, so I got at minimum three kills so far in this battle. <sighs> Don't know if I'm going to get much more luckier than that. Yeah, uh, we're charging. Alright, this is the one moment where we... 
We got lone soldier to the left. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're not gonna see us coming in this bush right here. We got this. Hope so. Scouts of sight, we can't go through it. I'm gonna get the flag. Crap, hurry up, hurry up. All right, now all I can do now is charge. Oh, that was close. Dang it. Got me right at the end there. I think this is the end for me, boys. At least in this battle. Oh, never mind. Crap, I have to wait in front. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, 20 sec. Come on, hurry up. Ugh. This is one thing I hate about this. This is one of those moments where I'm asking myself, would it have been better to just do a regular infantry deployment? At least I wouldn't be waiting. But I know I'll be further away from the rest of the army. Come on. Come on. Ah! Crap, I got no choice now. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Get the bayonet fixed. Yeah, uh, we got no choice. We just gotta go for it now. All right, troops. Let's see what happens here. I see a lot of sm thin line of blue troops making their way there. Praying to God I don't get. Praying to God I don't get taken down. We'll see what happens. Oh, jeez. Oh no. All right, I gotta reload quickly. I don't like loading while crouching because it takes longer. But I, if I get killed now, I'm done for good. That just makes me laugh seeing it like that. Oh crap, we're going to going to that again. I'm almost danger. I can't freaking see. What the fuck are you doing? Crap. Oh man, they're on the last stand. All right, this is good news. We might still be able to win, everybody. I missed him. I saw him move. Keep it up. I honestly have no idea how much ammo I have total. Never lived long enough to find out. Got the officer. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, they got me.
Come on. Come on. Boy. Come on. Screw it. See, the flight dropped anyway, so you just gotta deploy back from the beginning. Alright, reload quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not a good sign. Okay. Still pushing. Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, I see it. There's the line of blue troops. Try and make my way back there as quick as I can. Oh. Hope that artillery blast got somebody. Why is everybody holding back? Are they, like, right at the fence? I see our flag. Now our flag's been picked up. Thank God. Uh, freaking out, troops. I only see what looks like four of us up. Four other troops up there. Oh, never mind. Alright, it's looking a little bit better than I thought. Alright. Alright. That's one of our troops. I honestly don't know how we're doing right now, but we'll find out. Find out soon. Well, my side's clearly celebrating now, even though I feel like we're doing it prematurely. I don't like celebrating until the battle is over and done, which are not near yet. Everybody's so happy. I love it. Oh, jeez. M5, I don't know if you're still on, but someone's singing the Union Dixie again. All right, we won. I think that's going to be a highlight for today's a uh, for today's stream. I gotta be honest, I actually wasn't that confident when this battle first started, but I was proven wrong, and I'm glad I was. All right, so let's see. Four, we lost 404. They lost 419. So it was a very close battle.